And screwworm, we talked about it before on this show, but screwworm is um, it's a fly that that lands on cattle and and um, lays eggs, and its larvae are incredibly damaging to the flesh and the tissue of livestock, particularly cattle. So once the flies are around and they're laying eggs, the larvae are very hard to get rid of, and so it can be devastating. It spreads among cattle herds, and it can it can be fatal for the cattle, and it also has an incredible economic cost to um, to the the beef industry. And so because Texas in particular is right on the Mexico border. And the the front, if you will, of the flies that spread this disease is moving northward through Mexico. And just historically, this is a disease we have eradicated in the United States. So it used to be present. It was eradicated through an intensive strategy that primarily involved releasing sterile flies into the environment that would prevent the flies from effectively breeding and, and, and making more larvae. And that was an effective strategy. So that has been resurrected as part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's strategy, major massive investments, not only in the United States, but in partnering with Mexico to breed sterile flies, and it takes millions of them, but release them into the environment to try to hold back the, the front of this advancing parasite. And so, as you mentioned, Jay, you know, right now, the, the not only the concern, but the expectation is it's likely screwworm will get into the southern United States. And so that's why there's such a heavy investment by the US government, not just in the USDA, but Jay, this is a great One Health response. The CDC is involved, the US Department of Interior is involved, um, there's uh, you know, the Department of Defense, all these different agencies, State Department, in really working with our international partners in Mexico and Central America to combat this disease, which is gonna have devastating consequences should it get into US. 